Hi guys, so here we have a fairly simple piece of clothing I thought we'd look at today, which is a British 1960s, 1970s issue jungle shirt uh, made in jungle green air text material. Uh, the earliest data I've actually seen for one of these was uh, one being sold on eBay, which I didn't purchase in the end, uh, which is dated 1959. Prior to that, I don't know exactly when they were first introduced, but certainly they were worn through the 1960s and they're ubiquitous in photographs of tro troops sh um, serving out in uh, Borneo, uh, Malaysia during the Indonesian confrontation. Um, they're a good design. Prior to these, the British Army had essentially been issuing bush jackets, uh, so long skirted uh, jackets with, with pockets in the skirts. And this is a shirt designed to be tucked in from the outset and it's, it's very lightweight. Um, and it was that certainly seems to have been a preference amongst British troops because you invariably see the bush jackets tucked into trousers as well uh, to keep the skirts out of the way um, and with belts removed and various modi modifications done. So this is in a way the army, I suppose, responding to practice uh, of, of the practice of troops in, in modifying the bush jackets that were already on issue. And this is the first Jungle Green Airtex shirt that I'm aware of the British Army issuing. Anything you see reproduction for the Second World War uh, in way of a, an Airtex Jungle Green shirt didn't really exist. There was some dying of khaki drill clothing very early on in the Jungle War, uh, but other than that, uh, the shirts worn were Indian wool made shirts. Other than that, it was a Jungle Green battle dress blouse or bush jacket, which were, again, sometimes tucked in. But anyway, this is the first issue shirt for tropical environments. Uh, they didn't make a khaki drill version, which seems strange to me, a khaki drill, a khaki air text version. Um, but I, I don't understand why that is. I know the Royal Marines often had them tailor-made. You see some of them, uh, some Royal Marines in Aden wearing a, a tailor-made version of a shirt very similar to this. I have some in my collection. Topic for another video. But uh, as you can see, the design here, scallop pockets. So you've got two breast pockets. I'll unfold this in a second. And epaulets up on the shoulder here. Um, nice pointed collar on there. I say often, obviously, invariably worn open with a sweat rag. Um, say the two breast pockets there pleated with the scallops, uh, scalloped uh, edge on the pocket flap. Um, the shirt buttons are the same as those used on the KF shirt, the later khaki flannel shirt and the late issue um, 1964 pattern wool shirt. Um, it's long sleeved, as you can see. Um, so invariably worn with the sleeves rolled up, although obviously you could have your sleeves rolled down for anti-mosquito purposes. Uh, this is a 1970s made example. Uh, I picked this out because it's nearly mint condition, it's nearly unissued. You can see the label there. Um, if we bring this into focus, if I can. There we go. Um, it's 70s contract number there, size 15 and a half, and the NATO stock number and everything. I'd say quite a late issue example, but these were worn, certainly manufactured very late, um, very late 1950s, issued through the 60s into the 70s when the tropical DPM uniform came into service. Uh, the tropical version, um, so poly cotton shirt and trousers in the new then new DPM material um, for, for issue in tropical environments. Uh, it's full fronted, as you can see, um, buttons all the way down, quite long skirts, as was typical of military shirts at the time, uh, or shirt tails rather. Um, skirts on a jacket. Uh, I say a very simple and effective piece of clothing and these are seen very, these are, if you can get hold of one, if you're looking to get a collection together for Britain's involvement in the Far East, in the Cold War era, obviously when uh, fighting in the Indonesia confrontation, for example, uh, these are an ideal thing to, to try and find because they were ubiquitous at the time, they were very popular um, and, and they are basically form the staple of the jungle uniform at the time, um, worn with the 9050 pattern or later trousers, olive green, um, which are the crossover belt design, which I've mentioned previously in other videos. Uh, I've done a video on the khaki version of those, which I'll put a card for in the video. I haven't done a version on the green, I haven't done a video on the green version yet, but I will do. Uh, I'll upload that at some point. Uh, so there it is, a very simple piece of clothing, just an Airtex green shirt. But uh, to say, this is what you'll see if you look at photos of troops in, the, in uh, Malaysia and Borneo. Uh, in the 1960s, this is invariably what you'll see them wearing when involved out there. So, hope you found that interesting, and until next time, bye for now.